Ha! Ah, one of my favorite demos of all time. I have... Oh. Need a little bit of... This is just water. And I have a compound here called calcium carbide. Got about two or three grams of it here. If you haven't seen calcium carbide, you swear it looks like little gray pebbles. Not very impressive. Until you put it in water. And it reacts vigorously with water, OK? Bubbling away. Hmm. So I wonder what kind of gas that is. You think that's carbon dioxide? Hydrogen? Actually. That is acetylene gas. And you get a nice little flame maintained there. Great. So we have two reactions. We have the calcium carbide reacting with water to produce acetylene, and then we have the acetylene combusting, burning, as it reacts with the air, the oxygen in the air. Well, I'm going to have that same reaction take place in a semi-closed system here. I've got some Gatorade bottles. <laughs> I've made little holes in the side, and I'll come back to that. And they've got about maybe 50 milliliters of water each. In this first one, I'm going to place, I, I, I weighed this out right over here, 0.3 grams. That's like about four little tiny pebbles of it in there. OK. And my nice little tie-dyed bandana. We do tie-dyeing in the spring with the students. All kinds of cool chemistry with that. I saw that Flynn's got tie-dye lab coats now. Shove that bandana down in there. OK. In my other identical bottle with an identical hole, an identical amount of water, I'm going to put five times as much, 1.5 grams. Still not very much, but OK. And shove a nearly identical bandana in there. OK. I have to give these a little bit of time to react. Um, while I do, let me show you this. When these guys run out of their butane, the little piezo sparker that creates a little spark on the tip that lets you do that, is still good. In fact, as far as I know, it lasts indefinitely. It's, it's, it doesn't wear out. It's a physical change, not a chemical change. How's that? So when it runs out of butane, you can then take, this probably occurred to you, to take a speaker wire and shove it down in there, <laughs> and then tape it all up. And now you get a little spark out on the tip here. OK? I know the camera's not picking that up. Maybe it is. But there's a little spark on the, it's like a little spark plug. OK? I've got a backup one here. Maybe that's showing a little bit better. I don't know. Little tiny spark jumps across there. OK? And that was the purpose of the hole in the side. So I'm going to spark this mixture. Um, well, I'm going to spark this acetylene gas here. And this one's potentially pretty loud. So I'm going to have you guys cover your ears. I can't cover my ears because I'm going to be sparking it. So I'm going to use this. OK? Let me make sure it's all reacted here first. Looks like it's good to go. OK, this is the 0.3 grams now. I'll give you a countdown. One, two, three, like that. OK, put it in there. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Yeah, that was impressive. But guys, remember what this has in it? Five times as much. Whew. OK, so you ready for this? I'm making doubly sure that my ears are protected here. So here we go. OK. We're not taking any chances. Cover those ears. Ready? One, two, three. Uh -huh. Some people in the front here weren't even covering theirs because they anticipated that. What's with that? Hmm. Well, my reaction was kind of a dud. <laughs> Lesson for teachers. If a little is good, more is not always better. I don't care what all those test writers are telling you guys. More is not always better overwhelming our students with these standardized tests. That's the lesson I want you to have right there. 
So what happened? Obviously, we produced so much acetylene, it pushed out so much of the air, there's virtually no oxygen left in there. I don't say there's no oxygen, but there's not enough to create an explosive mixture, okay? I could try to take this off and arbitrarily put some more in, but that's not very careful. I carefully weighed those out, but I might be able to get this time. But don't expect the super loud one, because I just blew out a bunch of the acetylene too. Still, go ahead and cover your ears there. Okay? The carbide cannon, yeah. My idea of education is to unsettle the minds of the young and inflame their intellects. I love that, inflame their intellects. Okay.